Oop, need to turn on my light. Hello. Hello. You're in a different space today. Well, oh. same space, just different seat. <laughs> yeah, different view. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wanted I like the, the color of your wall. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I wanted the 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 light behind me so I could see what I was doing. <laughs> I'm going to have a challenge working today um, because my my little furry friend over here <laughs> is taking up my entire workspace and yeah. <laughs> being extra mushy. I don't know. Um, you have some extra texture in your paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cat hair included. Cat hair is free. Hi, mom. Hello. <laughs> Where we am I? You're you're not showing your face. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> hey, Jeannie. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. I don't know where your face is, Mom. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. How about now? Nope. You see me? Nope. I see me. Okay. I don't, we don't see you. Nope. <laughs> you are a black box with your name across this, the, the whole front of it. Gee whiz. You have to click your camera to on. Or so that it doesn't have a line through it. Yeah, I know. I have to find it. I don't know. My phone is, is acting funny. Push. Just push. Touch your screen on your phone and your your icon should pop up. Uh, so at the bottom left corner of my screen is where the video button is. Now we see your, oh, wait. your desk mess. Well, you might as well see my letter. That looks <laughs> this lovely. Way. And then there, I'm gonna eat my, Did everybody my, do their homework? I did. I, I did a second coat a little while ago. I did both my letters, so I'm prepared. I'm actually, I have so much stuff here. I want to experiment with like um, collage and mixed media and decoupage and, and I have tempera crayons, which I'm going to try and washi tape and paint markers and a million things. I even bought these two cool books that have quotes and sayings in them that you could cut out and use for collage. So, I don't know. We'll see. And I finally brought my actual letter home from school. This oh, that's the, cute. This is the one I did with the kids at school. I love it. Yeah, so this is the sample, and I'm going to go in a completely different direction today. today so gonna... what, um, since you are going a different direction, but what are the directions, how you tell them how to start that, just so we know for our students? Um, what I actually did is I, I gave them a bio to read about this artist who is Romero Brito. Um, a short little bio to read about him, and then I showed them samples of his work. And I told them to, I gave them a worksheet, and I said, draw eight things that are really, really, draw symbols for eight things that are really, really important to you in your life. And um, once those were approved, um, they were supposed to draw them on... <clears throat> on their letter the two most important ones really big one on the front one on the back and then they were to break up the background around all of their symbols hi jessica um so that each one like the artist style can be filled in with color and pattern so the artist style is very pattern driven and his theme is also love, joy, happiness, unity, and all that stuff. 
So once they had everything drawn out, the kids were told to paint the background solid colors first for all of their um, spaces and shapes and symbols and then to go in with the paint markers and add patterns in color over all their background colors. So this is a very um, Romero Brito style letter. So that was the theme of this project. But for today, um, since I already did this, I'm going to experiment with all different kinds of mixed media and see what happens. So if I want to ever repeat this, there are multiple ways to, I mean, you can do anything you want with this. There's, there's completely a million ways to, to finish it up in whatever style that you are comfortable with. Um, do you guys have any questions? Do you have your own like pile of supplies you're going to experiment with? I think I'm going to stick to the paint just to see, just for my kids. I just wanted to get an idea of ideas to do. So. Well, what you could do if you don't even want to go into the drawings of your symbols, you could just break up, you know, make it look almost like stained glass or shattered glass fragments oh, all yeah. over the place and then paint the sections first and then what I do is I have them take the um take a black paint paint marker and outline all of the shapes after it's painted because if you do it before it's painted you'll end up going over the outline having to redo it again and it's kind of a waste of supply so paint the, the spaces first and then outline in black marker like cartoony style and then go in and add all of your um, colorful patterns on top of your base base colors and just play if you wanted to do a review before that of um, different patterns that the kids can work with you can do an exercise of creating patterns with them using all kinds of different you know mark making stuff and um weight line weights and um colors and yeah oh. it's a small group today can you see me yes we can see you oh good all right yep it works now um uh, have you considered hosting this on a different platform um i step i think someone's on here that shouldn't be on here and be yeah um yeah i'm getting that that impression so how do i get rid of this person who's there boot them I don't know. I think they're already gone. Uh oh. Oops. How'd yeah. they get in? They're still there. I let them in. But now they're gone. So we're good. I still see him. You still see him? Mm hmm. Where? Hold on. Let me see. He's not showing up on, um, on my list. Yeah, that's him. Is it a Maurice? Oh, I got it from a different, I got it from Jessica Rivera. I got a spam message. No, Jessica is here with us. She's, uh, yeah, no, it was some like a Maurice or something like that. Yeah, oh. he's, he's Man. gone now. Okay. okay. It's just us. Okay. okay. Oh, it is. Right. Uh, my apologies to Jessica. Yes, it was Maurice. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Maurice is gone and it's just us chickies. There we go. My apologies, Jessica. <laughs> oh no, I heard my name being said and I was like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I, I <told laughs> okay. I'm already okay. looking at the spam message and I was like, and I never saw the Maurice there, but I saw 
you were the only name I didn't recognize. <laughs> Sorry. We're all okay. friends here. It's okay. <laughs> so um, a while back, actually, before I moved, I went on a jelly printing, jelly plate printing mania um, and printed up like a whole bunch of papers and stuff. And so I'm going to use these to tear up and use as my my base for for my letter. I have so many really cool sheets of patterns that I made and printing. Mom actually it's a big jelly plate. Yeah, these are awesome. Mom was with me and she went through the box last week saw all of this stuff so I think I'm going to start just tearing pieces and doing like a decoupage on my letter if cool. Holly would let me have my space back <laughs> mom you're you laughing, to but look can you see him here look at this he's taking up my whole table <laughs> oh my god hey buddy Oh, he used to do this when he was a kitten. He would lay all over my, my drawing table while I was working, but he was a lot smaller then. Hey, Ollie. Hey, you're famous. Hey, Ollie. Put you down. I'm sorry. <laughs> now there's cat hair everywhere. Okay. So here's my thing. I also have my jar of gloss medium and I have my foam brush. Have you guys ever worked with tempera crayons? No, never, never even heard of them. I love with these. They look like funky little glue sticks. It's it came in a box like this. And it looks like a glue Oh, those are like quick sticks. The, the it, quick yeah, it's tempera paint sticks, and they roll up like a lipstick or a glue stick, and it's tempera. And when you put it down, it's like a soft, super soft crayon, but it dries just like paint. And you oh get cool textures, and I love them. I love, love, love them. But I'm going to do that after. I'm going to play with, you know, mark making after I get my base papers down. Mom, you also asked me about washi tape. I have an entire bin of oh, washi tape. You have tape. everything. <laughs> you have um, so much good stuff. Well, I use it. So washi tape is like a paper tape, a decorative paper tape that people use to not just hold stuff together, but to decorate with. Um, you can make whole book covers. This one has, I don't know if you can see little kitty cats on it. And this one has ice cream cones. That's really cute. Yeah, they, they come in some really cool patterns. I love this one. It's very, um, this design reminds me, I can never remember her name. She's the artist that designed It's a Small World at Disney. It also reminds me of the artist we saw. Mary we Blair. In the city with Thank you. Warren. Mary Blair. What, Mom? Mary Blair. It also reminds me of the artist we saw when we went into the city to see the, the show on the, on the walls of that post office. Clint? Yeah, but not the other one, not Clint. Oh, Hundertwassert. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. True, true. Um, so there's lots of different, you could use anything to decorate your letter. It just depends on what you feel like using. So I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to start tearing into strips. And I printed um, my jelly plate papers on deli paper because a lot of, um, people say to use that. It's very good for collaging and multimedia and doing journaling because it's very thin. And then it also creates really good coverage. So I'm just tearing. 
I don't know if any anybody else is is working or just watching. I'm working. Okay. You know something? I'm very annoyed because I bought that set of paint markers. And I didn't want to spend a fortune, so I got a set for twelve dollars. It doesn't have yellow in it. How can a set of markers not have yellow? It has no yellow. That's and I went strange. through a, a sun face, and now I don't know what color to make it. <laughs> Very. Do you have a metallic gold? Yes. So you could use that. I guess so. I also have here Craft Smart Matte Acrylic Paint in a little bottle. Yeah. I guess I could use that too. You could. Those paints tend to be very transparent. They're not opaque. Oh. I don't love them, but in a pinch, it's better than nothing. You might have to do a few, a few extra coats. I'm going to ask you before I buy anything from now on. Okay. <laughs> I, also have, I have this Dynaflow. What is that? What is Dynaflow? Oh, that's um, that's for Free. painting on painting on um, glass. I think is that what it is. What does it say? Why would I have that? I don't because we over. did we did the the wine glass decorating workshop at the house a hundred years ago. Remember? Yes. I think it's that, or or is it for batiking? Now I can't remember, but I have that also. I don't know why I buy these things, and then I never use them. Um, um I'm gonna switch going? my camera. I'm gonna switch my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so that's, this is, this is what's happening right now. Okay. May I read what this is? Or not? I want to read what it says on the back of it. Okay. Dime Flow is a free-flowing concentrated liquid color for use on any untreated fabric. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. That's like a oh. uh, batiking thing. Set by ironing, it's then washable and dry cleanab cleanable. Yeah. yeah. Great on swimsuits, ballet gear, tennis shoes, t-shirts, swimsuits. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, any kind of fabric. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give this to you, Steph. Okay. I don't think I need it. <laughs> you don't want to decorate oh boy. Not, not really. <laughs> you I know what I think I bought that for? I think I did like a faux batiking and I used that to paint over a glue resist that I did. I think that's what I used it for. But what did I buy it for? I ha I couldn't tell you that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't live in your head. <laughs> nope. Sometimes you're in my head. No. All right. So Stephanie, I found um, online, I don't have much of a budget at all. So I have to try to be as cheap and on the down low as possible. So what you're talking about? Yeah. So um, I found the 3D letters as a PDF that has wow. like the tabs that you can fold over and you can make your little three dimensional letters. And so um I thought about for the fall, um, having, you know, having all the alphabets out, the kids, yeah, I already know who's in my class. So it's for my advanced kids. So I'm going to make all their names and I'm going to use it as their first project so I can see their scissor skills 
and their construction skills. And I'm going to kind of use it as a pre-assessment. And then I'm going to let them, you know, kind of design it to let me see who you are. And so I'm going to, I'm going to use this assignment, you know, that way and print it on cardstock. So it's a little bit sturdier and then give the kids, you know, a variety of media to decorate with or whatever. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to use it as an assessment tool. That's a great idea. Did you find those on, I think somebody posted them on Facebook because I did too. Yeah. Yeah. So I went, I I downloaded it also just to have. Because I was like, oh, that's cheap and I can afford that because, yeah. you know, so because all I could think about is because um, I teach middle school, but uh-huh. I teach an art one class to the eighth graders. And um, so I'm going to use it for their pre-assessment. And, um, you know, even then I I have a really stinky budget, so I'm very inventive. And so I thought this way I can show them how to use, um, you know, folding the uh, tag board for the inside just to give it a little bit of structure right. um, like the lady showed us uh, at the last meeting so I'm going to show them some stuff and then I'm going to see what they actually do with it so. you know it's funny that you mention um, I had a couple of students in the last couple of weeks who needed to make up that this project that they never finished um, or even started actually and I ran out of cups. So I used the cardboard method also to create um, the height between the two other pieces yeah. of cardboard. And it worked like a charm. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. good to know. I'm kind of hoping it will because, you know, when teachers move back into their classroom, there's boxes everywhere. So I figure I'll just nab them all up and uh, give the kids, you know, use have them cut them into strips and I'm going to tell them like what size the strips need to be. So that, that way they're all uniform. Um, copy paper boxes, collect. Them. Oh, yeah. I love those. Oh my God. I love those things. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have them keep their uh, supplies for. Well, for my sixth, seventh and regular rotational eighth grade kids, I have a box per class and I, they have to bring in, um, required supplies in a Ziploc bag and put their name, a, a gallon Ziploc bag. Yeah. And that's where they keep their supplies um, each day. <laughs> it works. Yeah. The girls in my office, they know all they have to do is, you know, keep it, you know, collect them from when they put out the Xerox paper in the copy room and oh, just yeah. save me the boxes because I always <laughs> need the box. Our custodian does it for me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You make friends with all these people, they'll save your butts. Oh, yes. Mm. All art teachers know who their friends are in the building. Absolutely. (laughs) I think we should all be taught that in college instead of learning it on the job. I think that should be, you know, like, uh, oh, now you're a teacher, 101. Here's what you got to do that they don't teach you in school. These will be your best friends for your entire career. Your custodians, your take care of them at Christmas, and they will love you forever. Yes. And they'll always make sure you have a sub. And <laughs> yep. yep. But yeah, so I, I was, you know, my my friend who joined us last time, she couldn't be here tonight. Aww. She told me to take notes, but um, you know, <laughs> she and I are gonna brainstorm this summer for some more um some lessons together. And I've mentioned doing this project as a pre-assessment and she was like, Oh, I'm all over that. Yeah. You, you should also watch the rest of the videos that are posted on YouTube. Um, for, because I have three, this is, I think the third year of these, these sessions. So there's three Mm -hmm. years of workshops that you could watch and get ideas from. Oh, YouTube channel. So YouTube channel, um, the Nikata, N-Y-C-A-T-A-U-F-T channel on YouTube. And I think there's like, there's like 40 videos from the last three years for all different stuff that you could get great ideas from. Because I started watching kind of, I've just kind of been jumping off on here and there since COVID. So well, we record every session, except, would you believe I forgot to record last week? <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
as soon as I said good night and logged off, and I didn't get that dialogue box that says it's now processing, I was like, oh my god. So then the very next day, I went and and re-recorded the whole lesson so that everybody could at least know how to construct it. Oh, wow. I, I was so upset. <laughs> oh, I love that. This lesson? This one? The, the one where we constructed the letters from last oh, time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was really yeah. upset. Really. And you told everybody, you can watch it, you, and then come to part two. <laughs> yeah. That's what I did. I felt terrible. I think there are messages in the chat. Let's see. Did you make the letter yourself? Yeah, Jess, we constructed it in the last session and um, I posted the how-to video in our um, YouTube channel for Nikata UFT. We all constructed them uh, last month. So if you have any questions, let me know. I don't know if Sandra is with us or she's just, I feel like I'm back in COVID where they sign in and then disappear. <laughs> I am. I've just been out working on the farm, so I'm hot and sweaty and drippy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> What's happening on the farm? Um, just getting it ready for winter already. So that's my winter. summer. <laughs> Where are you? Um, yes. I'm in Arizona, but it takes me all summer, my two months of summer to get it ready for winter. Wow. And what do you, what do you farm? I have horses, goats, chickens, ducks, a garden. Oh my goodness. Farms. Yep. That must be. So do you teach art too? How I do. You... I teach seventh and eighth grade drawing, painting, sculpture, ceramics, art around the world, and advanced art studio. Ooh, art around wow. the world. What is that? Um, art around the world, we take two cultures each semester and we deep dive into them. Um, so like last semester we did um, African art and Asian art. And so the kids take a look at the different cultures and where their art came from and the background and history and the materials that they use. Um, and then we put together artwork that represents it um, with their own twist on it to make it theirs. Oh, you must have, I don't know if you saw the one where we had, um, we did a session on approach appropriation versus appreciation yes you did i was in that one. Oh, good good so that that was a very interesting thing i think uh i think i mentioned that we were going to do a a panel discussion at naea uh, uh -huh. this coming year to to deal with this issue because there are so many people out there who think that we can't do what we do because all of a sudden it's it's appropriation versus appreciation. Exactly, which is just crazy. So like when I do my Native American unit, um, we are, um, our area up here is part of the Yavapai tribe, mm -hmm. um, Indian tribe. So we um, get to go to their museum, we get to bring them in when we do our wall weavings and they get to talk about their own art. Um, so it's a neat experience for them to get to have those conversations with somebody from the native culture that actually produces artwork. Um, and they're always excited to see the kids trying something new. That's fantastic. I'm kind of jealous. I'm kind of jealous. I love that. It's not always possible to get, you know, a firsthand um what's the word I'm looking for? Like a conversation firsthand with actual people of the culture that you're trying to teach. Um Correct. 
Yeah. yeah, we are very fortunate up here when we do our Native American unit. Um, our tribe is just under 300 left um, that are in the actual tribe that carry on those traditions that we try to pass on to our students. Um, so it is really neat for them to be able to make those connections because they see them in the community. They get to interact with them out in restaurants or, you know, at some of our, our different functions. And right. so it's really neat to say, oh, I know who they are, or, you know, I, I've been able to talk to them. The kids really be able to bond with them. It's, it's awesome. Well, they should be able to also see them as human beings. They're not you people. Know, yep. right. Exactly. Exactly. And, and not to be treated any differently than anybody else. Yep. In New York City today, we had um, a Regents exam day across the city, probably across uh -huh. the state actually. It was the uh, US history Regents for the high school level. So the only kids, there were no, no classes going on in school today. It was only the exam. And then my principal opened it up, opened the school up also to kids who needed you know, to catch up on, on work for other classes. So I ended up having 20 kids come to class today to make up work because they are behind in class and could fail for the semester. So I actually had, I did not expect to see, you know, when you have kids failing, they're failing for a reason. So I didn't expect to see anybody today during a testing day. And I was pleasantly surprised by a room full of students who actually decided that they wanted to pass. So I'm a little tired <laughs> today, <laughs> but, but pleased because some of these kids now actually have a chance to, to pass the class because they made up a lot. So did they accomplish what they needed? Um, many of them did, yes. Some of them who have done nothing, you know, it, you, it really makes you wonder, like you, you've done nothing, not a stitch of work all year, and yet you come into school on a day where there's really no classes officially. What do you expect to accomplish in three hours that you've been given to make up for an entire school year that you didn't do anything? And I, you know, I stood there looking at some of them and, and I, I, I didn't know what to say to them. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, three hours, I don't know, like, you don't want to discourage them, but you don't want to lie to them either and, and give them false hope, you know? It's like that meme on Facebook when you know inevitably we all have the kids who come to you the last three days of school and say what can I do to pass and the meme says go invent a time machine <laughs> and do the work that you were supposed to do when you were supposed to do it um it's it's a tough situation and the building was full of these kids, not just my room, but the whole building was full of kids Interesting. making up work. <laughs> oh, Carolyn, you're already on vacation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally I, jealous again. Totally <laughs> jealous. But she yeah. goes back before you. I know. I know. <laughs> but we have, let's see, done. I have six days left of actual classes and then two weeks of exams and grading and cleaning up and all that great Wait, stuff. Wait, I thought you said today was an exam day. So you yeah, still have classes? They, for the, uh, I think the last two years, they did one Regents today, but all the other classes are 
after the class, all the other exams, sorry, are after the um, the classes are over. Okay. I don't know. New York does things that don't always make sense. And <laughs> you just kind of go with the flow. I have all my windows open and I'm smelling barbecue right now in my dining room from outside. Oh, <laughs> it smells so good. I haven't had dinner. Don't, don't get you to talk about barbecue. <laughs> I inhaled a couple of chicken wings before I came online. Not gonna lie. I'll eat something a little later. So mom, you're painting on your letter? Um, I decided to outline with a thick paint marker. So now I have a, a conflict in the look of it. Uh -huh. Half of it looks delicate and half of it looks like yours. Can like you mine. The, it's, um, it's hard to see because you have your background blurred again, so. Oh, it's pretty. It is pretty. Thank you. It's blurred. Look at that. Because your background is blurred. If you keep but talking. But this is not background. This is front. Oh, oh I know. there you go. There, that's really cute. I like it. But I decided instead of all these skinny lines to go with thick lines. Okay. So it's kind of half. Half and half right now. Half cartoony, half not. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it ends up. Okay. I started painting colors on mine, and it probably would make you cringe because it's not in rainbow order, but I was trying to do something, and I was trying to just mix colors just straight on the thing but it's like this weird order of colors now. Why would it make me cringe? I don't know. When, sometimes when you're an art teacher, you know, and you see something and you could tell that it should be a rainbow order, but it's not in rainbow order. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, like the wall of my um, classroom eight uh -huh. years ago. There was a wall that another art teacher, I guess, had painted and it had all the colors of the rainbow but it was not in rainbow order. And it was, it just, it, it just looked bad. It rubbed you the wrong way? Yes. <laughs> and anyway, I don't know. My letter S might be a little bit like that too. Um, That's fine. But I might divide it up more with some other colors. I'm just using what paint I have right here. And I was like, oh, I don't have any orange. Oh, I'll just stretch the yellow and I'll put a dab of red in it and blend it. Oh, I don't have enough space. Now the green is like, huh. yeah. It, I can give you orange if you give me yellow. I have no yellow. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very cool if there was a way to actually do that. <laughs> That's like Star Trek technology. Yeah, even though I'm out, I don't know if you saw, I um, had a couple, like, I'm calling them art clubs, not art camp, because they're very short <laughs> um, with kids trying to make extra money. Yeah. But um, I had one Tuesday, it was on painting, and then today's was on printmaking. Oh, fun. But now I don't have another one for another month. I spread them out. Yeah, our next one, I believe, is going to be on the 22nd, um, but I have to double check my dates, and that's going to be on the Tamari. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so that should be interesting. Tamari? What is that? It's like, um, 
weaving it's a Japanese art of wrapping balls, styrofoam balls with stitching and weaving techniques and patterns. Sounds interesting. Yeah. So here's mine so far. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I like it. And then remember, I didn't have like the proper tape. I used electrical tape. You can see it at the bottom of it. Is but it sticking? Is your gesso sticking? The, yeah, the gesso stayed fine. I've got a little bit of, um, because I was just doing the tape as fast as I can. Like you can see the lines of the tape. Uh -huh. The gesso stayed. Um, now this, the edges of it, the side, whatever you call it. Um, there's like I didn't do. You know how I did it across on the edges, but I didn't do what you did because I didn't have a big piece of tape and do uh -huh. down to like close it up better. So I didn't right. do that. So you can see the little ridges, but overall it worked for the first one. It doesn't matter. I just realized we lost Jessica. Did she leave because she didn't have a letter? I don't know. Uh -oh. Is she someone you, oh, you know? Ollie, come on, Ollie. Boy. <laughs> you almost stepped in the in the lost medium. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. Come here, the buddy. That would make me very cat. nervous. <laughs> he's gotta be like, oh, he's gotta be all up in my stuff. Oh, I'm liking your color scheme of like, it's like monochromatic blue. Yeah, I'm in a blue phase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely in a blue phase. Well, it's also one of my favorite colors, so. It's mine too. Yeah. It makes me happy. <laughs> Oh, he's back on the table, coming in for another attempt. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to add some pops of pink. Pink. 
Oh. Wow. And like somebody just dropped a bowling ball upstairs. Maybe they did. It's quite possible. It scared me. <laughs> and my upstairs neighbors are not the quietest. I love being the upstairs neighbor now. Once you get up there, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to like this. Keep going. I decided that those skinny, sketchy black lines were just too delicate and would take me forever. <laughs> so I changed to the thick marker and now it's strange. Keep going with it. Keep, keep oh, it. I'm not, I'm not stopping. What? I'm not stopping. Okay. I'm so annoyed that these markers have so few colors. I'm going to have to go back and get more. <laughs> Gee. Well, did you use them already? I tried them out on a separate piece of paper. I was going to say you could return them. Oh, no, I opened the box. I, I took the box apart. Right now, I'm just using the black to outline. Okay. Which is exactly the reverse of what you did. And then I stuck my hand in it. So now I have black all over one hand. <laughs> You're marked for life. You know, I tried different markers on the gesso and one of them didn't dry for whatever reason on top of the gesso. That's another reason I switched to this paint marker. You're gonna have to experiment with the different kinds of paint markers. Yeah. The oil, if you got oil based, the oil might take longer to dry, whereas the acrylic will dry very quickly. Right. Because oil paint doesn't, doesn't dry. Right, but this, this black paint marker dried a lot quicker than I was using a Sharpie, thin Sharpie. Yeah. And then I found a Uniball and that didn't, didn't dry at all. But the paint marker seems to dry pretty quickly. So Did I'm any of y'all buy that brand that Sasha was talking about last time? Remember Which, she oh, the Posca or? No, it wasn't Posca. She, she shared like something that she thought is like Posca, but way cheaper. Well, I already had Posca, so I wasn't going to. Yeah. yeah. And mine is a no-name brand, I think. Craft Smart. Craft Smart, huh? Yeah, it's probably made that's, by... That's Michael's. like the Michael's generic... Right, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, I tried to go cheap for my kids' art camp, and I bought the Michaels brand acrylic paint, which is like you were telling um, your mom that um, other craft acrylic it's, paint. Yeah. And they use the whole stinking tube in order to get it. But they seem to have fun with it. I was like cringing because I was like, you could see through it. You could see through it, but they didn't seem to care. <laughs> oh, I think we're having another unwanted guest. Oh, no. Yeah. And I don't how know are we getting those? Get rid of them. I don't know. There was one of those and something I went to, some big webinar thing I attended recently, and they were sending messages. Oh, it was a thing Nebraska was doing or something. 
and they were doing the same kind of thing like this will work better and sending you a link yeah i just they're still in the process of joining and i don't know how to get rid of them before they join can you um turn on the waiting room and not let them in they are they are in the waiting room joining right now okay so if you're, you're in the waiting room you don't have to let them in i realize that now what i i was <laughs> i was touching the screen na the name to try uh -huh. to get rid of it and then it automatically let them in because i touched it oh oh goodness 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 well they're not in yet microphone. i'm gonna have to tell um mario that we have a um a breach somewhere so they're not our teachers is that it i don't know who it is it's called webinar tv us viewer and oh, it's still I, saying it's still saying joining so as soon as they join i'm going to hit delete or remove or eject or pulverize i like eject eject is is fun <laughs> oh they disappeared okay <laughs> maybe maybe they were trying to get into something else and they realized that this was wrong no, they know exactly what they're doing. Trying to mess with us. Oh. Yours is so colorful now, Steph. That's really pretty. Thank you. I'm just like putting stuff everywhere. And then wow. when I rise, I'm going to go in with the, the paint markers and highlight certain things kind of like it I'm not sure we'll see i really love this print kind of looks like scales oh yeah. Ooh, it does it's from my gel plate i don't know where i want to put it mm. Well, that works. I get there. Actually, hmm. 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 Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Bye. The paint marker going over the um, the skinny Sharpie. The Sharpie is bleeding now into the color. Oh, like Sharpie mud. should not bleed. Well, it is. Why is your Sharpie is the paint marker doesn't like alcohol make um, Sharpie bleed I diffuse? Know. I'm going to have to use regular acrylic with a brush, I think. Yeah. I don't think I like these paint markers. Well, those particular don't don't be turned off to paint markers altogether because they are awesome. I I meant these yeah. in particular. You need to teach me about all the new materials out there that I never heard of in all my years. Okay. 
We have to have art dates over the summer. Absolutely. I wish y'all were closer so I could join you. <laughs> oh, I do. Where are you? These sessions I'm in Georgia. My house. I used to do these what sessions you? once a month in my house with my friends and my mom. And that cool. was before COVID, and I miss it. You know, it'd be really cool to have to start something like this with the art teachers in my county. Mm -hmm. So how do you recommend just starting? Oh, doing it live <laughs> or online? Um, online, online. Well, you could start it the way I started it, which is basically establish a name and um a regular time or the kind of schedule put out um a flyer or an email to your district okay and um do a pre-registration like i do so that you kind of get an idea of who's coming or how many or if people are interested right um I think that the best thing is to just jump in and do it. And also don't forget to record it so that people have the option to watch later as well, which might entice them to show up to the next ones. You know. Um, Thank you. Yeah. I mean, basically I started this, I was kind of voluntold. <laughs> 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 I, you know, I, I pointed out that there was a need for this in the beginning of COVID. And so Mario, who is the um, the chair of NICADO, which is a New York City Art Teachers Association, he says, okay, so do it. And I'm like, well, that's not exactly what I meant. But he's like, well, do it. Give it a shot. See what happens. What's the worst that can happen? Out there. But you're going to help me sit down again. And here we are, you know, three years later, and it's still going, and people love it. And whether they actually can show up or not, they're grateful for the library that we've created. Um, and when when people can, they show up. You know, if they can't, they watch the videos but everybody really enjoys it. And it, it makes me feel good that I'm kind of filling a void and for, for other people as well as myself. Yeah. And it's a great way to meet people and network and you never know who you're gonna meet and everybody has great ideas to share. You know, your way is, is one way out of a million different ways to do something. And if somebody else has a different way to do it, that's cheaper or, you know, whatever it is, like we, we learned last time, why not share it with other people right. who are in the same boat? Yeah, I, I like, I really like the suggestions last month of, you know, everybody like, well, what if we did this? And how about if you tried that? And, mm -hmm. you know, just depending upon your budget, how far you can go with it. Yep. It's all about community. And we're all we're all here to help each other out because we all know exactly what it's like. Yeah. And some people, myself included, have a hard time getting started with the making process unless there are other people yeah. counting on you to show up, you know? Right. Um so I love that. I mean, today I had a day and I was absolutely beyond exhausted. I sat down on the couch and I said, you know what? If I sit here, I'm going to, I'm going to pass out and then I'm going to miss the, miss the whole session. Um, and, and I, I've gotten a second win since we've all been on together and, and I'm glad that, that we're here. Hey, I normally stay the whole time. I didn't want to interrupt y'all. But I am doing something with 
This is funny. I with Illinois. Yes. <laughs> what? I, I'm attending something that the Illinois Art Association's doing. Uh -huh. They have like this whole professional development thing. I just go to the Zoom things, but I don't know how I found out about it. But tonight it's on LBGTQ uh -huh. um, plus. And um, anyway, I went to one last night that was on contemporary art. They have this like PD series that they're doing. Um, and I'm not going to get credit for it because I'm not doing the actual work, work to get it. Right. <laughs> Because they're, they've got these online modules that you do in discussion and all that. Mm -hmm. But I I've been attending the Zoom ones that interest me. And they let me. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's cool. More connections. Uh -huh. More learning. And <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, That's um, how I, I got this uh, idea. Because I was doing the Virginia ones. That's how I met you uh -huh. guys. You know. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's wonderful. It's just so I will see you uh, next month. All not. right, girl. Enjoy your Bye. evening. Have fun. Have Bye. fun. Bye. Bye. And then there were three. <laughs> oh. Mine's looking like a hot mess right now. Looks like my studio exploded all over it. <laughs> oh, by the way, while we have the Zoom, mm. I want to show you something. I went through a box of the books today and I found a book about Keith Haring. Yeah. Maybe you want it, let me get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, girls. How are you? Okay. Well, not so great. What's wrong? <clears throat> uh oh. <It> was <laughs> one. There was barely anyone in electives today, so my attention was all over the place because I had to do this the split. And then there was a King's Dominion trip, so a lot of my students weren't here to catch up. Uh-huh. And then they had extended testing, which we didn't know they were going to do. Uh -huh. So I didn't see, I didn't have six block today. And then another electives teacher left because she had a migraine. And I'm also sick too. So I'm like, okay, well, we're all going to be sick. So stand in line. Oh, God. Then in my last block class, one of my sixth graders stole, sorry, stole my artwork. I did a um a balloon dog colored pencil rendering. I saw it on I my saw that. I was showing it to one of my students because she came to me. And usually I don't do anything for this class. Uh -huh. But she came to me and she was asking, she was doing her a personal project and she was asking me how to do rendering in colored pencil. And she's extremely talented. So I completely forgot about the rest of the class and I pulled out the example. And I showed her. And then um, she was like, oh, wow, I thought that was a, a copy. And I was like, no. And then she asked me how to do some a texture, like color pencil texture. Uh -huh. And I was like, you need a reference so you'll know what texture it is. And so I pulled out my reference. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, towards the end of the school day, a, a, like a bunch of sixth graders started coming to my desk. I don't like it when people come to my desk. Right. You know, then they like Miss Odom, Miss Odom, Miss Odom. And I'm like, okay, I'm working with somebody right now. So y'all need to like move for me. <laughs> so, so I totally lost sight of anything else because I wanted to work with her. And then another student came in and asked me to print something for him. And so my attention was diverted. Uh-huh. As I as I was trying to get the students to clean up, I noticed that my drawing was missing. So I was like, well, maybe my brain slipped and I put it somewhere and I wasn't sure. I looked everywhere and mm. I was like, you know what? Somebody took it. That's why so many people were at my desk because usually no one's at my desk. Wow. Uh, so, and then I was like, I really don't want to believe that. I really don't. But then knowing my students, I'm like, yeah, somebody did it. That's terrible. Awesome. And then, then I had another student 
was like, can I paint? And she's on paint restriction because every time she has paint, she makes a mess. She even got paint on another student's shoes, which I'm now fixing because wow. he couldn't get the paint off the shoes. And so she was like, can I paint? I was like, no paint. The end of school is next week. No paint. And she was like, well, what can I do then? And then she was pointing to someone's art kit. She pointed to the watercolor palette. And she was like, well, can I use that? I'm like, that's paint. <laughs> no paint. And I'm like, what is wrong with this class? I was like, is this the Twilight Zone? Why no, is no one listening? <laughs> because it's the end of the year. and No, no they've been like this all year long. And I'm thinking, well, maybe they'll grow out of it. Maybe at some point they'll get themselves together and it's not happening. <laughs> like I've never gone through this before. I've been in the school built in school since you know, for eight years, I've been teaching full-time for three and I have never gone through this before. It's so exhausting and tiring. Yeah. So, so, so I'm like, I can't do this anymore. So they, I was, it was like pulling teeth, trying to get them to clean up because they got hold of the coloring sheets and some of the coloring sheets ended up on the floor and I asked them please pick up the coloring sheets off the floor I didn't do that I'm like okay that's great but can you pick it up it's a piece of paper like please like stop this this is not kindergarten my my daughter doesn't even do this and she's six you all are 12 like I'm they'd over. rather step on it and forget yes and they were on stepping it. on it yeah yeah and I'm like, it's two pieces of paper. I'm in the middle of doing something and I'm tired of cleaning this room. I'm tired of cleaning behind you all. Then I told the girl, I said, please don't use all pastel because all pastel is messy. What is she using? All pastel. <laughs> I can't keep watching. I can't watch everyone in this classroom all the time. Like I can't, this is insane. It's like daycare. Yeah. I didn't get a master's degree to be, to work at a daycare. Like I can't. I, I completely feel you. <laughs> so I kicked them all out. Once I realized what, what happened, yeah. half of them already left because they were doing bus dismissal. The rest of them that were in there, and I was like, since you guys are leaving my classroom without my permission anyway, you, can all, you all can just go. Go to the other teacher's classroom since that's really where you want to be and just leave me alone. And so they all went there and I just slammed the door. And the fact that no one came to ask what was wrong the fact that that's normal was like, yeah, I really need to go. <laughs> Your room probably felt like a tornado had hit, right? No, the, no, they knew that it was my door. They knew I was upset. No, no, no. But, I mean, when everybody left, it probably oh. felt like a tornado had hit and, and then gone off somewhere. Yeah, and it was me. Mm -hmm. I yeah. was so angry. <laughs> so angry. Uh, I was like, I cannot believe this. It's the end of the year. And I lowered my expectations because I was like, oh, you know, everyone finished their project. They did well because the students that are usually misbehaving, they're either suspended or they move. I moved them to another classroom. So right. I was like, okay, so I can start to kind of, you know, ease up a little. Mm -hmm. I'm kicking myself now. That's the only class out of all of my classes. That's the only classes like that, and they're year long. Oh, it's, it's the end of the year. Oh. There's a little <laughs> more to go. We can do it. <sighs> we can. Do I'm it. like, I have a good mind to just not come to work all the next week because I'm going to a different school in a different county anyway. So I'm like, I'm done. Oh. I'm I'm done. I'm like, <laughs> just I can't I can't do it anymore. And it's like everyone's so overextended that I can't even ask for help because I am the help. I'm an admin aide as well, so. You're a what? I'm an admin aide. Oh my goodness. I help the administration, the yeah, administrators. <sighs> so you're in a, in a real jam. Yes, jam, jelly, jello, all the things, peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm hi, a Angela. Hi, hi. girls. Tell you tell the sister I'll help her. I feel bad. I went in and gessoed my stuff and everything was ready oh, to go. Bula. Don't give up. It's Don't a give test. Up. It's a test. Look, you know, I did three letters. I got I got oh art. nice. Oh nice. Those are cute. I love it. That looks like the one I posted in, in the flyer. 
I, I was I was inspired. So oh, I was like, oh, awesome. my own art. Oh, I gotta show you my letters. Yeah. So funny so joke, well. you guys. Funny joke. So my other my exploratory sixth grade class was watching me while I was um taping them. Uh-huh. And they were like, So what word are you making? And I was like, Yes, you know. They said, um, rat? I'm like, no, but I guess. <laughs> Tar? No. Oh, really? <laughs> and another student said, Tra? I'm like, oh my God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now oh, I know God. why you don't want to go back. <laughs> I said, what do I teach? Oh, jeez. Oh. And oh. Like, and I was like, oh gosh, you guys. Did you tell them it's on the test? <laughs> I should have. I should have <laughs> gave them a grade. <laughs> it's so cute. Where are you? Where do you teach? Wilder Middle wow. School in uh, in uh, Henrico County, Richmond. Where's that? Virginia? Virginia. Yeah, Richmond, Virginia. Oh. All right, I'll drive tomorrow. I'll come help you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my letters. I, I did it back. So that's the main reason why I came. I wanted to see some inspirations. That yeah, is I great. like that. I did a that's honeycomb cute. to put them in. That is super cool. Oh. So I did the A. I used the foam. Uh huh. And of course, the cardboard for the back. And then I have the R. Yeah. Oh, and then I so have the C. C for trust. Love Ooh. it. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then I did the baby. I have baby letters to put in these. So you put them Ooh. all together. Love that. Oh, I did cute. that. The beehive effect. Do I get an A? Yeah. <laughs> plus. Yep, yep. <laughs> Well done. Honeycomb. That, oh, jeez. There goes my hip. <laughs> I just think. Uh, so who, what, who else? Who else? Who yes, else I want to see back? the things. Well, I brought in the, the first one that I actually did with my kids. Ooh! Real nice. one. I like that one. Yeah. That is I love great. all the colors. Now, they, Very vivid. Did they paint that or did they mark her? What, what is that? That's what I was about to ask. That looks like Posca. Is that Posca? It's acrylic paint base with Posca designs over it. That is What's awesome. What's Posca? What's Posca in Italian? That's that means the brand easy. of the marker. Posca is the um, the brand. Yep. Can I can I see the name? It's it's I, not. I on swear this, by it. I love off. Posca markers. Can you but spell it? P O S C A. Thank you. Twins. Awesome. <laughs> so and good this, to is, this is my hot mess from today. Yes, I like the hot I mess. I should do a hot mess one. I never do hot mess anything. So this that, is um, nice. like decoupage, okay. jelly printed papers and okay. collage. Like and, yeah, nice. Yeah. I like that. Did the kids help you do it? Help me do what? The the S. You said a hot mess. I figured maybe the kids helped you. No. Oh no no, that's the one that I made at our last okay. session. Okay. Yep. I can you um can you show me the um both letters again? I want to take a picture for inspiration because I sure. really like those. Sure, here's my Good idea. My yeah, let me take a picture. I love that. Is that like the that same too. on both sides? Nope. Oh, oops. The and back then on is... sides. Hold on, let me click on you. Pin. All right. Is that mama? Hi, mama. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Oh, the Go Lego ahead. and the sewing, the thread. Can you do the front okay. again, Steph, real quick? Um, I missed the front. Thank you, love. I, I missed the other side, the other, the back. <laughs> smile, smile. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. So it's like all about me kind of yep. yep. thing. I love my, oh, my let me see. I oh, love the Lego. Lego dude. Oh, how cute. My Lego. And then this one is less structured. It's. Oh, nice. I like that. Lodgy stuff. Nice. It's like rainbow vomit. I and also, it. did you say rainbow <laughs> vomit? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Like unicorn. Kind of. <laughs> it's it's, it's like uh, also in a rainstorm. It's like a rainstorm. Tempera, um, tempera crayons I used also. Oh. oh. Now, now did you use cardboard? In... Did you use yep. cardboard as the base or foam core? Uh, cardboard. We made a, a Dixie cup sandwich with cardboard. If you go into our YouTube page, it's okay. uh, recorded the process and posted it last time. 
And then you, you, the YouTube page is in Nikata? Uh, Nikata UFT, go into the Art Teachers Art Club playlist. And it's the 3D letters, the first okay. one, part one, and then today's 2.0. I, I did letters for my school with the school number, mm -hmm. and then I did it for recycling for, um, what is the April thing? Recycling, reduce. Um, reuse. reduce, reuse, recycle. Right, and I did flowers um, coming out of the 3D letters. Oh, very oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, really came out beautiful. And then I did, um, I got crates from the vegetable store that they were throwing out, and I made like uh, boxes uh -huh. with flowers coming out. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Are you yeah, in Virginia also, Angela? No, I'm in Brooklyn, babes. Can't oh, you tell? DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, your accent is New York. Oh, you said you'd go over friend. and help Sasha. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a long trip, but. I feel for her because I, I remember my first year, I worked 800 hours overtime for free. Oh, and I, I will never do that again. And mm -hmm. I spent $1,200 of my own money. Yeah. Try 25 yeah well yeah i'm I mean, still trying to get reimbursed for yeah good luck I you know what sometimes you have to say hey i have 700 kids it's two dollars a kid you know what i'll give it to the lord and that's it and just you'll get blessed you'll get blessed they'll come back to you yeah. i spend all my own money too but you yeah. have to, but you have to put a you know boundaries you gotta put a cap yeah 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 but also you have material for the arts in virginia where you can go get supplies for me yeah Oh, no, all my money went to Lion King Jr. That's how much money I spent on Lion King Jr. But here in New York, we have material for the arts where we can go get supplies for free. It's, no, uh, no. It's basically I had a, a budget. I have an art budget. <sighs> okay. But the play didn't come out the art budget. It was supposed to come out the theater budget, and it didn't. Okay. So instead, it ended up coming out my pocket. And well, I had to answer to the office and they were like, are you, why are you, did you do that? And like, I had to go to the principal's office and explain how did I end up spending $2,500? And I was like, well, that was the agreement that I was going to get reimbursed on the back end, which I should have put in a contract. But again, I thought, you know, with the school system, you know, I shouldn't have to do that. You have to do a paper trail all the time, Sasha. That's I learned that the hard way. Paper I know. Trail, baby. You probably paper aren't going to see that again. Oh, girlfriend. I better get my money because I did. I had to do like 35 pages of receipts and vendor quotes and a whole bunch of stuff to get that money back. Also, you should, you should put in for grants as well. Like I read grants for the DOE. You yeah. should put in for grants. You well, should check I shouldn't it. have to do that again. I'm not doing it again because it had nothing to do with my department. This was, so, it was all extra work. I, I technically should have gotten a stipend for it because it was... It was work in addition to my teaching. But did you do set design? Was it set design? It was all of it. Set design, props, makeup. I even taught the theater kids uh, a makeup lesson. You have hair. Picture? Huh? You have pictures? It's all it's all on the on the page. I think I um put the Make video. Make sure you my... have pictures. Are you tenured? This is my third year. Oh, not tenured, no, because I'm a but middle that, school. But you get can, middle, can secondary school be tenured? I don't know how Virginia I think that's just the college is. thing. No, 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 no. We're no, 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 no. elementary tenured. Oh, yeah. This is just my third year as a okay. full-time teacher. Okay, but the girly girl, take those pictures <laughs> because if you have to do a tenured portfolio, that's part of it. I have a ton of pictures. I have pictures. Okay. okay. I have tutorials. I have a video. Okay. I I, I can't take the whole process. I'm just saying. I but posted you, the video in 1.0 in the other. You did keep they, on they, them with this this reimbursement. Do not let them drop the ball and yeah, be yeah. obnoxious about it because otherwise you're not good. You know they'll they'll kind of be like, oh, she'll go away. No, you yeah, know yeah. that's no. a lot of money. I'm not that's doing it. that. No, but the, you you need to have a meeting and have everything in, in paper. And then just tell your principal, you know, I need you to sign off that you will reimburse me. Like get some sort of signature, an email, send her an email saying, here's the receipts. Please confirm. That's a good you know, idea. Email before something. you leave for the summer, before you leave and go to the other school. 
Oh yeah, no, yeah. I need I need it before I go. Yeah. I need I need yeah, my yeah. money. I mean, I had those receipts since May the second. It is now June. What the first? But just but don't say I need my money. Say it in a way that I enhance the school. I'm an asset. And here's the pictures. And you should also get some students to maybe write, um, like, wow, what a, what a play. Wow, I learned how to do that. You know, just build build your case. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my students with me to the office, and we're going to put on a play, and then <laughs> they're going to sing, I have a the settlement, and I need cash now. <laughs> Everybody's going to have a window. And then they're going to poke, poke their head out of it. And they're going to say, it's my money and I need it now. That's what we're going to do. I love Every single day. Yeah, you, should get, you should get fake $100 bills. And like when at the end. Oh, my God. If I end. see another fake, <laughs> if I see more fake money in the school, I'm going to scream. <laughs> like, that's like the trend now, how they bring all the fake money to school. Like, they really make money and they what, pretend the that they're ballers. <laughs> And I'm like, Chapel. Oh, I don't know. Okay. And I'm like, please don't, <laughs> don't accidentally you know, one because one student today told me that they had a fake, their fake money and they put their real $20 with it. I'm like, don't do that. Somebody That's got weird. shot off of that. Don't do that. That's say goodbye to that 20. Right. So. Don't do that. Oh, you I know. hope our students never do that. That's awful. Sasha, do you have thinking the about it? Do you have the theater again? Do you have a theater teacher in your school? Mm-hmm. She so, was the one that said that, you know, the money was going to come from that they made and they made a lot of money from the show. They haven't they haven't done a show in four years. Uh, so, you know, they made a lot of money from the show. So I believe that I was going to get reimbursed. With, so with who sales who has show. that money? Is it the principal or the PTA? Who has that money? The theater department. Ooh. So you with the UFT rep, if you, I don't know if you guys have UFT reps, have all your receipts and make sure you send your email before and saying, I want, I want a meeting. And you CC her, CC yeah. the drama teacher in on all the correspondence. So with, I can, you know, your administration. I can she bring should you have been in that office too. And I asked the principal, I was like, shouldn't the drama teacher be in here too, since she was the one that said that where the money was going to come from? Because I, I they had me requesting the money from the school and that wasn't the original agreement. They took advantage. And so I was like, she needs to be in here because I'm not doing this hearsay stuff. Like, did she spend money? Did she spend money? No, I did. <gasps> it all came from me. But after she, the first hundred, hundred props, did you realize? Makeup, costumes, all of it came you. from me. Okay, but after the first few hundred, didn't you kind of like realize uh, something's wrong here? Or you were on a roll and you're new. Yeah, and you I had was on a roll. Yeah. And I was like, because I kept asking and asking and asking. And she didn't know because she's new too. Red flag. Okay. Exactly. I will never do that again. When I was in a different well, county, which, the county that I'm going back to, mind you, I, I got a stipend. Yeah. So this is completely new. And she she was complaining how Hen Henrico didn't support the theater, didn't support theater. We reached out to other teachers about, you know, what to do. We didn't know where this budget was going to come from. And then she kept asking me about a budget proposal. I'm like, why am I doing a budget proposal on something I don't even know I need? Like, we haven't even gotten the cast yet. She but was now adding they students the money, to, like, towards the second. Huh? Sorry. But now that they made the money, go to the theater teacher and say, what are the funds that you made? Because I need to be reimbursed. Here's a copy of my receipts. Mm -hmm. see, point, and I'm done. Said, I will would never do said, anything for them again. I don't know. But just see what she says. You, you're going to be a lawyer right now. I'm the I'm the worst lawyer. You might have to get life. one. I might need a lawyer for mm -hmm. murder because <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, listen, <laughs> you you made a lot of kids happy and you'll be rewarded, but you also need to get a reference letter before you leave. So this way they can't say, "Oh, she was this and she was that." Make sure right. your principal gives you a letter of reference because they could talk I bad did. about you. Okay. Well, I, I got one um, offered the position in March. So I have a reference letter from good. since March. Good. Good. So. I I'm watched sorry. the play. It was very corporate. good. Thank you. Yeah. I come from corporate. It. So I, I was a designer. So I come from, you know, I was a designer for Macy. So like they taught me all this stuff. <laughs> but what I learned is that 
because I was a costume designer, but my money came f- from the director. Right. I didn't have of to course. Ask, answer, you know. So, and I told them, I was like, well, I never had to do it like this. Like I had my own receipts. They just give me a budget. They tell me up front, this is how much money I have to give you. Don't spend more than $200. Either give it, they give me the money up front or we sign a contract and they give me the resources that they want me to use. And right. then after the show is done, they write me a check. And right. It never fails. But my question is, did you ever go to the principal in the beginning of this before you spent a penny and say, what's the budget? I wasn't told it was coming from the, um, from the school. So there, it didn't cross my mind to even do that. It was coming from uh, the drama teacher, from her money. And so, she told and- what the budget was? Did she give you a budget, the drama teacher, the theater no. teacher? So that was that the was first. That was also a red flag. Yeah. Because yeah. asking me what my budget was, I'm like, you can't ask me for a budget of a show that I'm not running. I, it's not my cast. I don't, I can't, that's like, if I, if I know that a costume is going to cost $20, but I don't know how many people are in the show, I cannot give you a budget. Of course. And then you have to know what type of fabric. I mean, I'm a fashion designer. So, you know, you have to know the type of fabric. You know, any yeah. embellishments and so so on and so forth. You know, you had it, take it off. Maybe they have to have a change of costume. So how quickly is it Velcro? Was it, you know, whatever. Right, and where um, I can cut corners if the budget is, you know, if it's community theater or if it's off, off Broadway. Like, I need to know these things. But at the same time, time is ticking. We got to get started. Yeah. Took advantage and you need to have a meeting and you need to be like uh, just like a lawyer and say or you I could know. just black school which i'm no, not gonna no, no don't because i'm too don't nice yourself you put all your heart and soul into it all of a sudden you don't have a heart and soul listen you, yeah. no I, it's not that it's just warning no, other teachers who go there because they're going to take advantage of them too well you're smart so you're leaving that's a good thing um, the second thing is always learn from anything, you know, cause like I bought furniture for my room and, <laughs> and like, you know, I need my furniture back and they're like, Oh, did you use teacher choice money? I showed you the receipt, I showed you the truck I rented to bring the furniture from my house. And you want to say, did I use teacher choice money? I, I want to tell you, go look, go look in all the receipts and go find it that you signed off on. I would never use teacher's choice money if I'm asking for my piece of furniture back. I gave you the receipt. I gave you the truck receipt that I had to hire. I had to drive a truck, a flatbed. Wow. And it's like, you just always on the, you do good and it looks like bad. It's like right is wrong, yeah. wrong is right. Red light they is green. They make you jump light through red. hoops for every thing. They make you jump through hoops and it is absolutely so sad. Yeah. And then the kids pay the price because you get frustrated. Yeah. And that's I not agree. fair. That's, not, that's fair. not fair. You know what I mean? Because I love, I love my kids. The kids well, the, I'm learning now to set very rigid boundaries. Well, rigid always have boundaries. everything in writing. Have the theater teach in the field. Like, this is the list of what you need. And then put a price and resources and funds. I'm not doing anything without funds. That's it. Yeah. And I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it as the art teacher. I'm doing it as a costume designer. So at the end of the day, it's not going to come from a school budget. It's going to, I'm, you're hiring me as a civilian person because I have a degree in it. So mm-hmm. please don't treat me as like any other teacher because you wouldn't get the same product with any other teacher. So they would have to hire you as a consultant. Yeah. Or well, pers- or profession i don't know you know you have to we have well, to work you, you, they do that and so they did that in chesterfield county they get got professionals to yeah. um supervise and then they yeah. got a stipend for supervising right. the yeah did you get paid for all your hours no oh, i didn't get anything nothing girl you That's should get your 2500 for paying your paying you know getting paid back and then you need another 2500 for all the time and energy and blah 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 that you put yeah, in she it. had a clock in and out she had to get a time yeah. clock all the herself. hours you pumped into that yeah. thing i know yeah. it was a lesson learned i won't i won't do that again i felt, yeah, I felt like i was taken advantage of so and they, you know, they li- life they lesson stay. are you finding a quote for me <laughs> to put in your <laughs> I'm, we're inspiring her. Like, 
You can put, I'm you know what, I'll put like a whole bunch of no's on here. See what I want to put on my on my letter. On your, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Even miracles <laughs> take a little time. Yeah. What would say that again? Even miracles take a little time. That is so true. Yeah. <laughs> That is really true. I should do that. That's actually a good idea to put some, some mantras to remember on there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna find some. Apropos of nothing, I just painted my letter white again. Why? Is that over your whole drawing? Yeah. I told well, you to stick with it. You don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> who's the mother and who's the daughter? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so pretty. Hey, Mom. It's beautiful. No, okay, really so you pretty. didn't go over everything. No. Um, I, like, I like the sun in the corner. Yeah. I was scared for a minute. I thought she started off completely. I did, too. <laughs> All right. You're off the hook. <laughs> Thanks. I like the bird. I like the bird. I like the sun and I like the flower. It looks like a Monty art, Mexican art. Oh, yes, it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do anything on the back or that's just on the front? Not yet. Okay. You now should I'm find have to wait find for this vessel to dry. It'll take a long time to dry. All right. Okay. That's why you're going out dancing later? <laughs> <laughs> you got the right one. <laughs> you got the right one. Bye bye. <laughs> All so right, cute. girls. It's 8 30 and I am shot for the day. Uh, don't go off until I show you the book. I want to know if you want oh, it. So cute, mom. Do uh, you know I'm pairing? I love you. Yeah, Do you I'll know I get him? It's fuzzy, but I'll take it. I met him Keith in Paris. Harry said, I wish I didn't have to sleep. That's the name of it. Yeah, I'll take it. It's, so fuzzy. it's okay. fuzzy. I'm yeah, fuzzy I too. Do. I tried to unblur it. I don't know how I did it, and I couldn't get back. And oh. then I was afraid I would just disconnect myself. So I didn't know. So cute, your mom. Um, I met Keith <laughs> in person, <laughs> and I saw a calendar from him. Yeah. Why, why is it when you get to the 80, everyone says you're cute? <laughs> I'm sure well, you were cute at 50 and 40 and 30. Yeah. <laughs> ask, ask my daughter. <laughs> oh, so cute. Yes, were yeah. you an art teacher? <laughs> right, Roberta? Yeah, I was an art teacher for 40 years. That's <gasps> awesome. Oh, my. So you inspired your daughter? Yes. <laughs> Wow, where she were didn't you? I wanted to be an art teacher, but I talked her into it. And yeah. I, I didn't set out to be an art teacher. I was a textile designer. Yeah. To begin with. What? Who, who did you te do textiles for? Uh, Harry Wexel Studios, W E I X E L. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 19, 1960s. Oh, wow. wow. That's when it was. Wow. It was forever awesome. ago. <laughs> is the Wexler yeah. family also own real, um, retail stores, the Limited, right? The Wexler family own the Limited. I, I don't know about that. Yeah, I Leslie. Don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, I did uh, 3D. When I, worked, I think I worked for a Connie Green studio also in, in the city. Okay. Two, two textile you studios. Actually, you actually. And I, I, you are my, my designs walking around on people on dresses and blouses. It was really cool. That's great. I did really um, cool. 10 years at Macy's as a designer. I was a 3D belt buckle designer. And then they gave me hats, hair, jewelry, jewelry boxes, uh, scarves. I did all the, the, the colorways. You wow. know, back then we had it hand painted. And so I had to figure it out. There was no computer that I can go put the colors in. I had to do it all in my brain. Um, awesome. and I traveled to Asia. I did 30. Yeah, once upon a time, they made us use our brains, right? <laughs> you what? Know, you know, your brain. Like, well, you know, it was interesting. We lived in Barcelona for seven years. Oh, and wow. when we came, we came back, yeah. um, I wanted to get back into textile design. And uh -huh. I contacted a couple of places and they said they were only doing it on computer now. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 
Photoshop. And I, and yeah. I used to use a pen, a paintbrush and a pen. Yeah. So that was the end of that. Did you ever hear of Symphony Scarves? No. I worked for them. I did a scarf collection. And I had, um, you know, someone doing the Photoshop Illustrator. And I would design and then put and put the colors and then go overseas. Um, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, lot, so what I do is I just try to impact my students mm -hmm. to make it in their lives, even though they're elementary, you know, because if I could do it, they could do it. Right. That's right. Yeah. And we all have <laughs> histories that that bring us to, to our experiences that, you know, yeah. that we share yeah. today. You know what? We should tell Just them the about, the, about the, we should tell them what happened when you went back to Barcelona to the American school. I taught at the, I taught art at the American school in ah. Barcelona and she was little and her brother ah. was little. And mm -hmm. she went back a couple of years ago to check out the school and met somebody working there who was in her class at the American <gasps> school. Oh, that's cool. It was and last year, year, Mom. Me. It was last year. <laughs> it was awesome. last year. I love <laughs> Barcelona. Oh, my goodness. Did you live right in the city? Yeah. yeah. So did you, obviously, you knew all the Gaudi buildings. I mean, I went there just to see his, the church and uh, his buildings. Yeah. Oh, I love yep. his orchestra. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you probably were there when I went visiting. Oh, my God. And then we went to the beach. We flew somewhere to some beach two hours away or something. But We uh, went there for seven years. We lived there for seven wow. years. Wow. Now you all went right, there. Son, I'm going to interrupt here, guys. Sandra's okay. leaving. And, yeah, it's after time. And I'm ready to say good night <laughs> okay. i'll be i'll yeah. be quiet and i'll say good night too <laughs> <laughs> all right look for the next one i should be sending a mailer out in a week or so um okay. and have a good week and if you're already on vacation i'm jealous and enjoy <laughs> yes, i am <laughs> and thanks you guys i feel so much better now i do we're here for you girl we're here girl. for you We've all had kids take our stuff. Yeah. And it's just sick. Yeah. It's not even, I don't even care that they took my stuff. They took my trust. That's more important yeah. than the stuff. Yeah. Well, right. you know what you learned? Never bring your original or leave your original in school. Make copies and give those out or let them. Yeah. Let them mess with that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We have to make mistakes to learn from them. Integrity. So. You didn't lose your character. That's more important than anything. Yeah. And That's on right. that note. All no, right, my guys. See you next time. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.